Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SLS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. Thing is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was just yesterday, and then you look at where the price closed today, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the price made a very nice move today. But that does lead to the logical question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out this question quite straightforward. In order to do that, I wanna actually scrunch up the chart a little bit to offer up a little bit more context. So there we go. So the important level that I think is really gonna help with that question is down here at $1.44. Why is $1.44 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, Hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about $1.44. Any sort of closes below there or worse set, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range of the chart that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price does something like this, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this set of circumstances? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have these lows down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have overall stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that phrase, progress as once more $1.44. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are currently hanging out at, resistance-wise, Seems to be quite a bit of them right up there around the $1.80 mark. And then after $1.80, just simply where the party stopped today, and that was up there at $1.93. All in all, though, no doubt about it, very nice movement today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum and progress going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.